Hey, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekah HaKadash, double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, the other apostles of Great Millstone, also known as Shemes, and salutations to the most highest men in the four corners of the earth, pushing this word of sincerity and truth, and Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, it's your brother, Ben Yum Yum, from GMS, Mississippi, with an intrinsic topic going into the wages of sin or death because people look at death in its in entirety and gaze upon it as something that's horrific, something that's sad, and something that is detrimental to oneself and one's family, so on and so forth. You know, but the Mosai has already stated that the wages of sin practically equal death. So the sin against the Heavenly Father, which are his ways, his word, his laws, his statutes, his commandments, his mandates. You know, when you go against the grain, you have to be able to stand upon that and understanding, okay, the judgment that comes along with it. If you were to walk into a particular bank, whether you use an actual gun or use a banana, you're still going to reap the same reward of being charged with armed robbery at a felony offense. So when it comes to breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, you know, you're still going to be charged with breaking those laws according to the judgment that the Heavenly Father has pronounced upon that particular law that is broken. And that's why we constantly rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord you know, but ultimately we're under his grace and mercy, you know, because we can't keep the law perfectly. We can't keep the law perfectly before the land of our captivity and we can't keep the law perfectly, definitely not in the land of our captivity, you know, because when wickedness is all round about you, when the oppressor is teaching you nothing but unrighteousness from the time that you're a, a baby, and watching cartoons and then you become a toddler and then now you're watching Nickelodeon and Disney then you become a teenager and then now you're hip to you know the trans community you're hip to uh, homosexuality you're hip to understanding it's okay to interact in bestiality you know the, 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 the wickedness has no limits no limitations rather when it comes to the wickedness of this world you know, so even something as simple as the proper foods that the Heavenly Father has commanded us to eat, those that are clean versus those that are unclean, in the land of your captivity, in this society, you know, you have more so at your disposal the unclean foods. And if you have clean foods, Esau Edom has found a way to intermingle them with unclean foods, you know, so it, it is a constant battle and a constant struggle. And that's why the Most High has placed us under his grace and under his mercy and how it ha has allowed us to rely upon him solely based upon faith in which that faith enhances our works and that works brings us closer to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, because that's ultimately what it's all about. You know, because when you look at the righteous and how they're going to be saved, the scriptures always paints the picture of them being what? Being clothed in white. And white represents purity. White represents being blameless. So no matter what it is that you do, no matter what it is that you go through, when the most high is for you, who can be against you? As it is written. So therefore, the most high will smile at your ignorances. He will wink at your mistakes and he will nod his head at your shortcomings because ultimately he already knows the path that he has set forth for you and that end result of you conquering it. You know, because we are more than conquerors. And that's why not only was the Heavenly Father going to give his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, the kingdom, you know, he was going to allow the Israelite man and the Israelite woman and the Israelite child to be 
partakers in that glory as well. But judgments, judgments come through wickedness. Judgments come through unrighteousness and certain judgments come through correction. It's just all about which side of the playing field that you're on which will di dictate the actual judgment that the Most High pronounce upon you. Now, what we desire, hope hardly to, to, to not have to go through that, go through those particular pain points, those growing pains, and those character flaws that are being purged. Absolutely. But as gold is tried in the, in the fire, in the furnace, you know, acceptable men in the furnace of affliction. So it's really, it's really a catch to it because in order for you to be found blameless, the Most High has to put you through blameworthy incidences to check your spiritual and your moral fortitude. You know, will you be the one that, that folds? Will you be the one that, that goes ahead and sin anyway? just to save your skin. Like a lot of different options are presented before you in the time of very harsh decision making. And that's why it's always best to just be a humble individual about certain things that transpire because a lot of people can see a scenario take place but have never gone through anything themselves but they are so heavily opinionated about what another just went through they're so heavily opinion opinionated on oh i would have did it this way oh i would have did it like this you don't know what you would have done and one true reason behind that is that the most high places inside of us our thoughts our next steps our opinions our actions our decisions so when certain things happen that can alter your emotions at that moment, you don't know what decision you make. You should just always pray that the Most High gives you the strength to make the right decision. But pride and ego makes you feel like you always got you, you, you always have the right answer. And that's one quick way to be eliminated from the planet Earth as well. An individual that is that is always right in his own mind that's a person that has not suffered the consequences of making the wrong decision just yet or he's always had a crutch and a parachute that captured him when he did make those wrong decisions so ne so he's never actually felt the true consequence of poor decision making but those that are seasoned and those that are experienced they understand very well the hell that can befall you based upon your decisions and ultimately going back into the particular topic is that understanding that the wages of sin is death because when things happen it's a sad event because now that person you know is, is, is suffering or most I put him to death you know but we never know what the Most High's reasoning is concerning certain of his judgment calls. But we do understand that the Most High recompense man on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, whether his deeds be good or whether they be evil. And that sums it all up, you know, but we are them that fight not as one that beat at the air, and we are them that practice to keep the most high's word to the best of our ability in hopes that he may find grace and mercy and show that towards us you know because we need it if you don't need it you know then you stay on that side you know but those that are humble and meek and truly fear the heavenly father then you understand exactly what i'm saying hey right, so until next time i say shalom